<laughs> oh, as you can see, you never get tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to this stream summary about the character creation. As you can see they have developed a very nice feature, but more to that later. The people were asking Henrik some random questions. I will summarize them and if there is no specific detail then he didn't specify any details. But first what Henrik showed us beside this character creation. Some lanterns, that is pretty awesome. Finally we can have more light in the dark. And the famous Uriel. For all who don't know, this thing drops wool and wool is pretty expensive. So about 10,000 carcass of these were about 5.6 gold in Mortal Online 1 I guess. They are always near a mountain area and I really like the look of them and I think the right one is um, the alpha male um, leader of um, the herd. Also to the motion tracking and the webcam tracking. I don't have a uh, face movement so far. That, that will also add an, uh, another depth of falling face and tracking my face movement. But that is disabled this scene. I'm just covering my expression. He is currently using an iPhone to capture his face, but later it will be possible with nearly every webcam. So you can see the face expressions of the other players, which is pretty unique for an MMO. This is a genius move because with this they can make big marketing. Because the first ever with a true MMO with face expressions, your actual real face expressions, and with the one character system, this is even more immersed, Henrik said. As I saw this, my mind was blown. This is very impressive stuff. So now I will go through the list in no specific order, just like how it was in the stream. And while we are doing that, we run from Tindrim to the pig farm. Older animals are hard to tame, please use the younger ones. They are currently working on giving you feedback while the taming failed, even if you tame the younger ones, because currently you have no real feedback. White bears are not meant to be easy to tame, and they are not meant to be found everywhere, and the spawn rate is meant to be rare. To the character system you have seen before, you not only have the face recognition, which is an awesome feature, you also have um, the sliders you know from other games like Skyrim and so on, and you have an even more depth system because you can uh, not just choose um, some things, but you have uh, more or less a circle if you... It's awesome, you can really make a unique character now. Someone from the chat was asking, Henrik, where's the lap dance animation? Henrik responded, good question and moved on. Nodeline bugs are on the fixing priority list. The housing patch is planned for the end of November. For wagons, there's no direct date planned currently. There will be with the next housing patch no TC banks and no TC structures in general. This will just be the housing patch, not the TC system patch. And it's not the next patch, it's more planned for the end of November, depending on how faster they are, of course. They are currently working on the placing system like campfires and and other stuff because uh, there's also the same placing system that they will use for houses. The prices of keeps compared to Mortal Online 1, Henrik is not sure about that, that they will balance that of course. Keep blueprints were pretty expensive in Mortal Online 1 and Henrik said uh, they will balance uh, that, uh, that even a solo player can afford a little house. But uh, they will be really careful and really calculating how much time, how much effort is it and how the player base reacts now in the end of November. Fishing system will be a really deep system with a lot of varieties of fishes and and some will be only catchable at certain weather and at certain time and stuff and at a certain place with a certain hook, with a certain line, with a, set, a certain rod, with a certain bait. So yeah, I personally guess uh, becoming a master fisherman is like uh, becoming a master alchemist in Mortal Online, uh, how it was in Mortal Online 1. So I think about 10 years. But yeah, a deep fishing system is pretty awesome. If they get a lot of money during the release times and uh, the time after, they will um, put that money into more developers and hire more developers and keep expanding. Resurrect at our houses will not be possible until TC comes, but uh, there's no specific time frame for that. Some magic schools will be very rare and very hard to get and are even sometimes very hard to learn and very hard to work with. So they will focus on the more available schools in, in the upcoming months and years and uh, then on the really rare ones. The other world with some entities will be patched in soon that you can gather um, the spirits with your spirit boxes. There's many stuff for your houses like furnitures, even decorate uh, the outside or the inside of your house, more or less, um, you know, the walls. And some chests that only your friends can open, only you can open and you can also open chests for the public. For houses later on you can expand your house with farms, with shops, with um, many many other kinds of uh, stuff like even breeding animals and stuff. You will be able to place houses even in underground areas like for example the style 
design troll cave. And I personally love this because I always wanted to build my house in the Stein troll cave and I was really disappointed that uh, that I couldn't do that. And they are also working on the portable machines like uh, butchery, portable grinder and so on. And I really hope personally that they will also work on a portable weapon crafting bench and a portable armor crafting bench because yeah, some people really need that pretty hard. Because in Mortal Online 1 we didn't have a portable weapon crafting bench. I hope they will Im implement that. They are also working on balancing armors a little bit more. Not specified. Crossbow, not anytime soon, but it depends on the resources. If they have more money and more developers, uh, then maybe sooner than later. Sprint break, not sure how the community wants that and how the community wants to balance that but um, they are really careful with that. Beast Mastery will be implemented pretty soon. Creature armor, pet armor, gear and all that stuff will come over time. Shields and one-handed weapon is worked on that uh, this combination is a little bit more viable. Ecumenical schools is not the best for PvE, but uh, there will be magic schools that are more suitable for PvE. Wildlife behavior will be increased with more animations, more details and stuff when they have the time. Toxai will get training dummies. For the motion capture system, if you have glasses on, for example, and you use a Snapchat and you have uh, these uh, little emojis where you become a frog or something like that, if that works, then it will work for Mortal Online 2 as well. The guards and vendors now have the Tendramic Empire voice. The customizable faces are now symmetrical, not asymmetrical. Potion stacking and stuff, there will be some changes and some more features for alchemy. Face movement and head movement will come to the motion capture system maybe someday. Veterinary will be in the upcoming patches soon. Tinrim and Munikur will be a little bit more improved uh, that it makes more sense uh, with more population there. Temperature system will come with uh, the other continents. And Mirrorland is more or less uh, the baseline, the middle land, the middle temperatures, where you have maybe slight effects if you are far up in the north or far up in the south. But uh, the hard extreme temperatures will be in for example Zaduka um, and uh, for the cold of course Nordfeld and so on. Building stuff around your house will come with the TC patch uh, that is not part of the housing patch. You will get a little bit of clade experience nearly for every creature that it is a little bit balanced and not all people are running uh, at the release date to, to the same reserves and bandits. Some titles will be hidden but you can unlock them. Tasks of nations will give you reputation and sometimes profit. Later on you will not gain standing just by killing random risers. This is only now possible because uh, this is beta testing. Maybe with the unique faces they can also make it possible that we can make uh, statues of people. Customization on posture and idle animations and stuff. It's currently not possible because of the lack of manpower, maybe later. They are working on scribing and uh, they will need uh, this for the other magic schools. Maybe also casting from a scroll, maybe possible. Some spells will be more expensive, like for example Earthquake. Tapi is getting into the game the next month, maybe. Campfire placement soon. Buy orders will also come to the game. Murder count burning also with bribing and corruption is a maybe. They are planning for huge investments in the marketing stuff. Please Henrik. Be one of my Patreon supporters. They will tweak cooking a little bit, that not only raw cooking is uh, viable. There will be no storyline and no quests and but history events where players write the history. Gambling and poker and many other games of course. Duel system and arena system will come sooner or later. Trinkets will also be again in the game. Bonus stats and bonus skills. You can't lose th them but you need to recharge uh, them if you die with them. For slash comments it will be possible to tie them to a hotbar. They will tweak the filter of the colors a little bit because it's a little bit too yellow for uh, some people and uh, they want a more realistic look on the game. Henrik also wants more continents because um, yeah if we are 100,000 uh, people all for example in Mirrorland no chance overcrowded. There will also be much more armor types. In Mortal Online 1 it was 26 I guess. TC, Texas and Sieging will come later. One guy in the chat, Henrik can we have a vulva slider? Henrik said maybe but uh, they will not focus on such uh, things. They are also building a unique scars system that you don't get scars from the character creation but more from legendary monsters or some historic events. Bhakti will get a press. All starting cities will have all the workbenches except the blast furnace and the greater notorious. The the sailing system will be based on real life, small boats to very huge ships all is possible, even some very enormous giant um, sea monsters that can eat your whole ship with the crew. Daggers will be more useful when the poison system comes in the game. Thievery will come after the release. A few more effects will come to the alchemy like age changing. Player animation interaction is planned that both players can for example make a handshake together. From big monsters and stuff you can even make trophies later but uh, that is something for much much later. A pet feeding 
breeding animation and grooming your horse on something like that will come to the game. Maybe a steal a horse option will come to the game, but more or less balanced, not as a griefing mechanic. A very deep religion system is planned for the next years. More skill based beast mastery will come to the game that you can't just send your um, pet on, on someone and run uh, in the other direction. Henrik says next time something exciting and thanks from Henrik to the whole community and also thanks for me because you're watching this video right now and thanks to all my Patreon supporters Carmel, Professor O, Donsky and all the others of course. Please leave a like and subscribe, every like and subscribe helps and always remember to make party art! See you all next time, goodbye!